today. Hey everyone, welcome to CNE Sales Monthly Webinar Series. I'm Jeff Butler, the Technical Manager here at CNE. Today's webinar is titled The 3VA Molded K Circuit Breaker, a complete system designed with you in mind. Today's Doug Hammer, a control specialist, control product specialist here at CNE. Doug's been working with control products his entire career of more than 30 years. He's been with CNE Sales for eight years, and prior to that was a control specialist with Siemens Industry. Just a few housekeeping items before we start. If you have questions during the webinar, please submit them using the control panel tool on the right side of your screen, and we'll address them at the end of the session. If you don't see that tool, click on the red horizontal arrow, and it should open up the dashboard for you. Everyone registered for this webinar will receive a link to the recording, so if you can't take notes or you, for some reason you would have to leave, you can, you can come back and, and uh, grab the recording and look at it at a later date. Be sure to attend next, month we next month's webinar, which is hosted by Howard Wong, one of our automation specialists here at c &E. His topic will be Profibus, Installation Best Practices, and Integration with the IA Portal. And that will be on September 14th at 10.30. And now today's webinar, over to Doug. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Doug Hammer. I'm the Control Product Specialist here at c &E Sales. I'm one of our 15 technical specialists uh, that help our customers give pre and post sale support on our products. Each month, one of us present a webinar on new products or other interesting subjects such as application, uh, Profibus or whatever. So uh, make sure you check our schedule and uh, catch a webinar that you're interested in. Today's webinar is on the recently released Siemens 3A 3VA circuit breaker. And now if I can get it to work, we'll go to the next slide. Give me a minute, can't find my mouse. Sorry for the delay. There we go. The 3VA breaker is the newest breaker in the industry. It's a complete system designed with you in mind. It's setting new high standards with design, planning, installation, and operating power distribution systems. The new 3VA breaker product range is designed to be used for global operating operations with both UL and IEC certification, versions with both thermomagnetic and electronic trip units. Your layout and design will be quicker with the comprehensive 3D drawings available and the technical data and information that is readily available too. The 3VA will live in harmony with the current breaker offerings from Siemens, the 3VL, and the Centron breakers. These are not being obsoleted or replaced. The new 3VA offers features and higher interrupting ratings than the other current models offer. A new 3VA circuit breaker by Siemens now offers a 125 amp frame that is smaller than the 3VA LDG 150 amp frame and the Centron ED frame. So you're going to have a smaller footprint for this breaker in your panel. This series of breakers are smaller, the, uh, much smaller than the Centron frame and some of the three VL frames, especially the 400 amp. It's two inches shorter than the comparable 3VL breaker. This makes for a compact design and minimizes your panel space requirement. The focus today is on the 125 amp through 600 amp frame breaker sizes. These frames make up about 85% of the industrial breakers used in the US market. 
the three VA UL series is the 125 amp and 250 amp frame with thermal magnetic trips. The 3VA6 is the UL series is a 150 amp frame through 600 amp frame. Right now, the 3VA breaker is marketed towards the industrial panel builder and the OEMs who appreciate the new features and accessories. It is not being offered in the Siemens distribution equipment. Highlights of the new 3VA5 is its very compact design. The 3VA5 is for line and motor protection. It has thermal magnetic versions, trips for the 125 and the 250 amp frame. They also will be available in molded case switches and motor circuit protectors. They're available in one, two, and three pole versions. Uh, please note the two pole version is in a three pole body. Highlights of the new 3VA6 150 to 250, 400, and 600 amp frame breakers all feature electronic trip only. They have four interrupting capacity ratings. There are three different styles of trip units. The ETU5 and 8 have digital displays with an integrated meter function. They both have communication ability through Ethernet, Profibus, and Profinet. The 3VA6 also will offer a four-pole version. The 3VA breakers have an extensive and flexible line of accessories. We will take a closer look at those shortly. But as you can see, there's test devices, there's power configuration software, if you're talking to a supervising system, a lot of internal accessories. There's new locking and interlocking accessories, mo new motor operator, uh, plug-in draw-out devices, DIN rail mounting as standard. So there's a lot of new accessories on this breaker line. Now let's take a closer look at the uh, 125 and 250 amp frame 3VA5. As you notice on this screen, the 3VA5 is in yellow and those are the thermal magnetic trip only. 3VA5 is the 125 amp frame three pole has interrupting ratings of up to 65 Ka at 480 volts. One thing to notice, the 100 and 125 amp trips only have a 65K rating at a 480Y277. They also have DC ratings up to 100KA. The 3VA5, which is in the 250 amp frame, has ratings up to 100 kA at 480 volts. Also, very high DC ratings. The 3VA52, there is actually two different thermal magnetic trips, one with a fixed overload and short circuit setting, and one with a fixed overload and adjustable short circuit setting. This one can be dialed in closer to your actual application need, providing better protection. 
This slide also shows the motor circuit protector with the adjustable instantaneous trip and the molded case switch, which has a fixed magnetic trip. Now let's take a closer look at the 3VA6, the 150 amp frame through the 600 amp frame. Again, all of these will only have electronic trip units. The 3VA6 has your standard 35 kA, the high braking 65 kA rating, and a very high braking of 100 k at 480 volts. But it now also has an extremely high breaker rating of 150 kA at 480 volts for your more demanding applications. This now can be accomplished since the new design incorporated a double brake contact inside the breaker. The 3VA6 is available with three different electronic trip units. The ET U3 has analog adjustment dials to set the breaker. And as you can see, it comes with long time instantaneous, long time instantaneous and ground fault, long time, short time, and instantaneous trip settings. The ETU5 and 6 both have digital outputs, digital displays actually on the front of the breaker with buttons that help you set the breaker up. Both can be monitored with a supervising system and giving power readings back to a PLC or a DCS system of some type. And again, those are available with long time, short time, instantaneous, and ground fault alarm only or ground fault trip. This chart shows all the electronic trip units are available in all the breaker frames of the 3VA6. As I mentioned earlier, the 3VA series has an extensive line of accessories. They range from internal to external accessories. Now let's take a little closer look at some of the newer products. One thing I want to point out, all the accessories fit in all the frames across the 3VA5 and the 3VA6. The only thing that is unique is the plug-in and draw technology is only available in the 250 amp frame 3VA6 breaker. And of course, communication is only available in the units with electronic. The new breaker has a complete series of internal accessories. A new entry to this is the leading changeover contact. This is especially important when applying breakers with variable frequency drives. This allows a stop command to be sent to the drive before power is interrupted. This also shows the new cylinder lock that can be installed internally in the breaker. This can be used for interlocking. There is also a 24 volt DC power supply that can be used to power the electronic trip unit when power is not on the line side of the breaker. Universal accessories go, go across all frame sizes. Notice this slide shows that the auxiliary contacts 
color coded uh, to help you avoid mistakes in assembly. Also, the shunt trips and the universal trip. I do want to point out a new electronic alarm switch. This switch works works with the electronic trip units can signal the type of trip that caused the breaker to change state. So the EAS electronic alarm switch can signal whether it was tripping due to an overload, a short circuit, a residual current event. So you'll have a better idea what caused your breaker to trip if you're using a communication system. This shows the actual locking key that can be used internally in the breaker for lockout. The same key and cylinder can also be used in a couple of the rotary handle operators to provide additional lockout and prevent operation of the breaker. Siemens has come out with a complete line of mechanical interlocks too between if you're doing the mechanically interlocking two breakers together. They have them in both on face mount and also rear mounted accessories for this. The 3VA series also offers a complete line of handle operators, both front and side mounted rotary handles. The side mounted is something new for us in the breakers. And Siemens also offers the Max Flex cable operated and of course the rigid link for flange mounting. Something new in the manual operators is the ability to add an LED kit to the rotary handles. As you can see in the pictures across the top, depending upon if the breaker is off, tripped, or on, the LED will be lit up showing red, green, or yellow. If you knew an easy visual indication of the status of the breaker, and it can be seen from a distance compared to having to get up close. If you notice here on the side rotary handle operator, they're showing two different designs. One is where the breaker is mounted on a panel and is off the back plane of the, of the, of the uh, panel, so it's mounted on a bracket, or they have the type that uh, comes in from the side where the breaker being mounted on the panel. Siemens is offering an extensive line of terminals for this new breaker, everything from distribution lugs bus connections to rear connection studs for those applications. They also offer a line lug with a power takeoff so that you can pull off the uh, 480 volts to go to um, additional power supply, uh, internal lighting inside the panel, even when the breaker is turned off. And of course, a complete line of barriers and touchproof shields are available for this series to prevent accidental electrocution. As noted earlier, the 250 amp frame offers a plug-in and draw-out design mounting. These are normally found in UPS applications or in other high critical uh, loads where you need to swap a breaker out very quickly. There's actually a little indicator, which is red and green, indicating whether the breaker is engaged or not on this, on the drawout design. There's also a test position so you can test the breaker. The 3VA has a high transparency thank you to the, thanks to the flexible communication options. This allows a higher management system to monitor the loads and breaker status.
in the 3V, in the um, ETU 8 series, you get pull, full power metering functionality out of that trip unit. 8 breakers can be connected to one COM 800 communication device. Siemens also offers a local display of the DSP-800 that can be mounted in the control panel to monitor all loads that may be controlled by the breakers. This slide shows how you can take the communication from each breaker to the COM-800, and in the COM-800, you can just determine which type of communication you want, whether you want Profinet, Profibus DP or Modbus RTU, and then communicate back to your PLC or your power config software or some other system to monitor your loads. All these new breakers have a QR code on the front, so it can be easily scanned with your smartphone or tablet which will then pull up all the manuals and data sheets for the breaker when you're in the field and you have to learn more about the part number of the breaker. This is found on a lot of Siemens products. Uh, I know the power supplies and PLCs have this feature too. Siemens has the website for the three VA breaker. You can get on there and you can configure your breaker um, with the correct trip units, with the correct interrupting ratings, and with the correct uh, lug terminations. So it helps you uh, select all the right part numbers for your application. In the Siemens iMall, there's a link download where you can download the PDF and get a data sheet on it. And you can also use the CAX to pull any of your manuals that you may need on the breakers. You can also pull down the diagrams, UL certification, worldwide certification documentation, and all your drawings, pictures, all the information you may need um, for documenting the breakers used in your applications. One thing to note, these breakers are being marketed and sold with the, what I'll call the world part number. They will not be, not have what I'll call the USA part number. That's why you won't find this breaker listed as an MDG3B250L. Most people understand breakers, understand it's a standard interrupting rating, it's a 250 amp trip and comes with lugs and it's a three pole breaker. Uh, this will now be a 3VA5225 dash, whatever the remainder of the part numbers will be. So the part numbering is going to be a little bit different, um, but now it's a part number that anywhere a machine is shipped in the world, they'll, under, they'll be able to find a replacement or get documentation on it. Makes it real easy for customers who are exporting machines. So in summary, the 3VA5 for your standard applications is available in a 125 and a 250 amp frame. They're thermal magnetic trip only. They have at 480 volts, 25 kA to 100 kA interrupting rating. In the IEC rating capacity, it's 36 through 110. It does not have communication. It does not have power metering but it has a very compact design. While the 3VA6, which is the more advanced breaker, 
is available in a 150, 250, 400, and 600 amp frame. They're only available with electronic trip units. Their UL braking capacity is going to be between 18 to 150 kA, and IEC is 55 through 150 kA. Those will have communication availability with Profibus, Profinet, Modbus RTU, and of course, you'll be able to get all your power metering out of the more advanced trip units. So what do we have here? New tools for you to help select the product. It's going to be integrated into your TIA portal um, later this year. It has extensive and flexible accessories. The new side-mounted operator is real handy. We're getting more requests for that. The line side power taps are really important for customers who need 480 volts in a panel after the breaker has been disconnected or turned off. Distribution lugs, so you can eliminate the distribution lug in your panel, has all the common internal accessories. The cylinder lock, which installs in the breaker, which can be used for locking out to prevent unauthorized use. We got the power metering functions. Something new is the illuminated rotary handle. We have a smaller footprint and arc flash mitigation with electronic trip units using external function box. We didn't really talk about that. There wasn't much documentation on that. I'll be looking into that. If you need more information on that, you can always contact me. That's it for the uh, presentation, and I'm looking to see if we have any questions. Thank you, Doug. Nice job. Appreciate it. Right now, we do not have any questions, and so um, I, for some reason, I've lost my question window pane that I, I could actually see what the questions were if we had any, but on the dashboard, I, I show that we don't have any questions. If anybody does have any questions, we'll have to have Doug open up his pain and, and uh, uh, I don't read those off so but as Doug mentioned earlier uh, he's one of 15 specialists here at c &E sales and so we'd ask you to take advantage of that if you have uh, practice you're working on in various disciplines and in Doug's case he's a control product specialist but we have automation specialists machine safety specialists motion specialists vision specialists so we've got all these various disciplines uh, where if you're working on something that you would like some help with, uh, the folks like Doug can, can make a sales call with our salesperson and come in and try to understand what you're doing and, and help out with that process. So we, uh, we'd love to take advantage of that if we can and help you out. Doug, I don't see any questions showing up. So with that, we'll go ahead and close out the webinar. Thank you, everyone, for attending. You'll, you will receive a link to the recorded webinar. Thank you, Doug. Thank you.